Are pit bulls more dangerous than other dogs? It's a question many people feel very strongly about one way or the other. A WSBT 22 fact finder Annie Chang set out to find an answer by digging into data. And Annie, you did some number crunching for this story. I did, Rick. I counted all the dog bite reports in St. Joseph County. 200 bites reported in the first half of this year. Now, you might be surprised to find out which breed reportedly bit the most, but experts say it's not the whole story. Casey Sills misses her smile. I had a great smile. Everybody loved my smile. And my smile's gone. It happened in May. Casey was visiting a friend who owns a pit bull lab mix. The dog did not seem aggressive, Casey says. In fact, he was friendly. But then something snapped. I was petting him and I said, who's a good boy? And I stood up and he latched onto my face ripped my bottom lip off, my eye was cut open, there were, I don't know how many stitches, he ripped my eyelid open here. Casey was rushed into surgery where doctors literally stitched her face back together. While it is healing now, Casey is still constantly in pain. But even more excruciating, she says, it's the emotional damage that hurts the most. I don't want to wake up in the mornings. Because I know I have to face another day looking like this. Sorry. <laughs> and it, um, it throws me right back into that dark place again. <laughs> Casey's story is an extreme one. And in fact, animal control officials later decided that Casey had provoked the dog. But we wanted to know how often do pit bulls bite, provoked or not? We filed a public records request with the St. Joseph County Health Department. These documents list which breeds have bitten the most so far this year. Here's what we found. From January to June of 2015, pit bull type dogs had the highest number of bites by far, more than doubling shepherds and shepherd mixes, the second highest, and four times as many bites as Labradors and lab mixes, which were third on the list. But the veterinary experts we talked to say this doesn't mean a thing. Dr. Kathleen Newhoff says the numbers are skewed. I've had 20 bites or more over my career, none of which were by pit bulls. She says people are less likely to file a report if a family dog like Golden Retriever or Chihuahua bites them. But if a pit bull bites, Newhoff says, they're more likely to report that because the breed has such a bad reputation. Several veterinarians insist pit bulls are not naturally aggressive animals. It's their owners who can make them act that way. We know that upbringing and how we socialize our dogs and how we interact with them has a huge impact on their future behavior. They are not, in general, aggressive towards people. If they've been handled properly, they've been correctly socialized, they do very, very well. No one knows that better than Bill Sykes, a local pit bull advocate who's rescued dozens of them over the years. Bill says this dog, Blue, was likely used for dog fighting in the past, but now he's the furthest thing from violent. These are very loyal, gentle dogs, and it's the irresponsible people persons that make them into what they're commonly known as, as a fighter, as vicious. Experts say the question, which dogs bite, is the wrong one. The question should be, are you a responsible dog owner? More emphasis should be placed on responsible pet ownership, you know, socializing your dog, making sure they get appropriate care, they're treated humanely. Even Casey, whose life was turned upside down by the attack, says she doesn't blame the dog or the breed. A dog's only as good as its owner. A child is only as good as its parents. And there's another problem with this data, too. Veterinarians say it's impossible to identify a true pit bull just by looking at it. According to a study, experts misidentified 75% of dogs they thought were pit bulls, but were actually other mixes. Now, that means people here locally who are filling out those dog bite reports are probably getting it wrong most of the time, too. Okay, Andy, so experts say local numbers aren't accurate. Right. Do they know which breeds are biting the most? Yeah, then? and that's so hard to say because experts, you're, you're not going to get an accurate answer because of those dog bite and reporting issues that we talked about earlier. But according to an international study, this is interesting, Jack Russell Terriers, Labrador Retrievers, and Golden Retrievers were actually brought in the most times to behavioral experts for aggression issues. And a Jack Russell Terrier is a smaller, smaller dog. Right. I mean, so smaller dogs can bite too. 
goes back to the upbringing, the background. Exactly. Any size, Founders. any breed. Yeah. All right. Lots to think about mm -hmm. there. And the numbers.